Today in Fashion Guide, fashion professions, Catherine Goldsman will share her success story and secrets of fashion industry. Photographer Oleg Zuyev will show you the inner kitchen of the fashion photography. Makeup artist Mira Durbeltaeva will share her advice on latest trends in beauty industry. Stay with us. A Kazakh Kate Moss, that's how people will call the successful model Catherine Goldsman. She deserves the name. She does resemble the British supermodel and is highly professional. It was sports that taught her to be responsible and disciplined. Back in the day, it was clear that Catherine is destined to hit the podium. Even her walk was different from the one of her fellow sportswomen. Now Catherine's defile adds spice to her shows. I was an avid watcher of America's Next Top Model, and when I delved into modeling culture, started reading books on fashion, watching documentaries. I still can catch the film Varushka till the end. I like Varushkas, strong personality. As for the contemporary models, I like Giselle and Kate Moss. Endless photo shoots shows castings cast a spell on her. Over five years of her lightning-like career, Catherine was able to realize her potential. She gets photo shoots in the most popular magazines done by the best photographers, despite the certain hardships of the modeling business. She only becomes better with each year. A professional model always stands out from the crowd, even if she's a rookie. What makes a professional model is her character and abandon, her freedom of movement. Often you can tell a person who moves and talks freely from the crowd. A person who's not afraid to say or do something quite often is a feature of a strong model. Inner strength, enthusiasm, power and energy. This is what makes a real top model. Once becoming a professional in her trade and accumulating enough knowledge, Catherine decided to start her own modeling school and agency. I know how to become a model. I've reached everything I wanted as a model in Kazakhstan. I've been a part of the biggest shows. I've been on photo shoots of Kazakhstan's coolest photographers. I've worked with foreign photographers too. I've been in magazines and on covers. Now I have an experience I can share with aspiring models. Catherine says that her school's main goal is not just to form models, but help people understand who they are and realize their talents. Over 2,000 students have graduated from her school. They are all grateful to Catherine, and the most important thing is that young men and women finally realize how beautiful they are. We asked Catherine Goldsman to share a piece of advice for aspiring models. To all aspiring models, to those who dream but still sit at home afraid of making their first step, get up, go to any agency you like, any agency you follow, just go there and start doing something and your life will start changing. Behind every outstanding photo, there's a team of professionals. We see the outcome of their work through the eyes of the photographer. It is difficult to convey all the power, beauty, emotions through a camera lens. Oleg Zuyev is one of those who doesn't find it hard. The young man is among the most wanted photographers in Kazakhstan's fashion industry. I started photography in a high school. I've always been fascinated by art. I used to take our family's camera to school to take pictures of my friends, and that's how it all started. His professional career started at a famous magazine in Kazakhstan. He gained experience and skills making reporting photos for Glamour magazines. With time, a whirlwind of fashion events took Oleg to the heart of Kazakhstan's fashion industry. He started making his fashion stories. I'm more into classic photography. I don't like vulgar fashion photos that people love here. Shiny faces, swelled lips, drawn cheekbones. I love classic photography more than that.
In his works, we can see that he loves graphic design and arts. Oleg's favorite photographers are Annie Leibovitz, Peter Lindenberg, and Helmut Newton. Oleg follows the latest trends in modern photography world. In fashion photography, you have to know how to work with your customer. Set goals for your team. This is a teamwork, makeup artists, models, stylists, not just photographers. You have to respect everyone's contribution, but the person responsible for the end result is always a photographer. If photos come out in a poor quality, then it's the photographer's fault. Oleg finds ideas for his photo shoot everywhere. It could be an inspiring film or an interesting face in the street. He gains more knowledge reading books on photography and studying works by great photo artists. What should an inspiring photographer do? First, you have to watch and analyze more of the works from famous photographers. It's important to analyze how a photograph was made, why this light was used here, and why it captured your attention. You have to collect the photos that capture your attention. Put yourself in the place of the photographer to understand why he or she made this or that picture. Despite his young age, Oleg was able to work with famous Kazakh designers, major fashion magazines, and media personalities. His works emphasize beauty and specific features of his characters. Apart from photo industry, the talented photographer is keen on studying cinematography. Makeup is an integral part of life for many women. Beauty industry now rules the world. Cosmetic products, new makeup techniques, and the beauty world trends go side by side with fashion. Makeup artist Mira Durbaltaeva will tell and show you the latest summer makeup trends. The summer 2016 trends are smoky eyes. Everyone's aware of that. It's trendy for quite a long time. I think it will be always in fashion. You just have to vary the degrees of application. It could be strong or black smoky. It could be very light. Violet and glowing satin shades are good for the light summer makeup. Forget about bright colors like pink and green. The main trends of the season are lightness and nonchalance. If previously girls strive to look excessively glamorous, now it's popular to be as natural as possible. Today's makeup, it's a daytime makeup, no specific clear lines, no wings, as wings are losing popularity now. Youthful look is in the trend now. That is apply less dense texture. To add youthfulness and gloaming to your skin, use the new beauty industry's hit, strobing. Highlighter's application system is replacing contour. Popular in the 1990s, this makeup technique makes your skin look fresh and glowing thanks to light reflecting particles. Unlike contouring, you don't have to thoroughly draw all your face parts. Strobing is applied after we put on makeup foundation. Once we have powdered our face and it looks matte, strobing brings back natural skin's glow. Highlighter is applied on cheekbones, tip of the nose, nose bridge, chin, forehead center, upper lip, and under brows. Thanks to strobing, we get an effect of the clean, impeccable skin. According to many makeup artists in the new season, you have to forget about clear lines and look as natural and fresh as you can. That's all for today. Watch our next fashion guide and be in the trend. See you next time.